Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So if you've noticed, I got a beautiful festive Christmas shirt on that my daughter made for me. She is um, selling them as well. So if you're interested and you wanna be festive just like this Georgia Clay, head over to my Instagram right now and DM me for the details and then she'll be able to coordinate with you guys. So in this week's vlog, we are um, got a lot going on. I have a partnership with Caraway and I can't wait to share this beautiful cook set that I've got from them. Um, I've had it for quite some time, but I've had to wait to open it. And I didn't want to open it prior to doing the vlog because I wanted to share that experience with you guys. So I'm opening it today. I'm going to use it. I cannot wait. I'm excited. You guys know how much I love my Caraway products. So this one is a good one for you guys. Also, you guys can save on your new cookware set for the holidays. It's a perfect gift. It's a gift that keeps on giving because you can use it for years to come. So um, this week's vlog, we are creating our beautiful winter wonderland and my tree is here. It looks so good, guys. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. I still need to decorate the back of the tree. Usually I don't decorate the back of the tree because it's usually up in a corner. But this year I decided to put it in front of my picture window. If you guys notice that the orientation of our furniture is different because we had to make tree, make room for our beautiful tree, which I named Evangeline. If you guys have a familiar with Disney's Princess and the Frog, you know um, Raymond when he was a firefly and he fell in love with Evangeline but she was a star but he didn't know she was a star to him she was a beautiful um, firefly so Evangeline does not know that she's a tree she's a beautiful star to me so that's why her name is Evangeline um, so <laughs> this year we are getting real fast up with our winter wonderland um, everything that was in my head is actually coming to fruition and I love it. It looks absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. It's taking time. You do the back of the tree, like I was saying, usually it's in a corner, but this year I wanted to have all the neighbors to be able to enjoy it as well. So it is dead center right in the middle of the picture window so you can see it from the front of the house and also you can see it from the back of the house as well from my neighbors when they come out on their deck or when they're just looking out the window, they can see how festive and beautiful it is. So let's get into today's vlog. guys are you ready so with caraway i was so excited about this one i've been wanting this set as you guys know i have about three sets already but that's okay you can never have too much cookware so with this one i am so excited because she's black and you all know that that's one of my favorite colors and it is the iconics cookware set and i'm so excited about it i can't get it open fast oh my gosh it's so pretty oh my gosh so look at y'all she's so beautiful oh my gosh oh it's so pretty i gotta clean my stove look oh, that is so gorgeous i absolutely love it don't do a close-up babe because i need to <laughs> clean the stove but oh my gosh she's so beautiful oh, i'm stoked i can't wait to cook with them oh my gosh beautiful as always you guys know that with caraway they're safe products they're um you'll always want to make sure that you clean them hand wash is preferable with your cookware set just to keep that longevity but i uh, love them absolutely gorgeous and i got that good weight on them too so one thing i do love is just how they were able to step out of their comfort zone and do something that was completely unexpected. And with this gold handle on this black, I'm telling y'all, it's so beautiful. It's just the icing on the cake, it's gorgeous. So that's one thing I really do like, it's just having that pop of color, but not too much, because you don't want, sometimes you don't want a cookware set that's entirely black. You want a little splash of color, but you don't want to commit to a bold color, like a true gold. So this for me is perfect. I love it. I can't wait. I don't even think I want the kids to use. I <laughs> don't use my cookware set. Use the old stuff. Caraway has quickly become my favorite cookware. The Iconics collection is the new bestseller added to their already great lineup, and they're simply beautiful. You're still getting the same great quality and non toxic cookware as before, but this time with something special. With the new gold handles and exclusive colors, just in case you guys didn't know, Caraway now also offers bakeware, kitchen linens, a tea kettle, and their very own food storage. 
So if you guys are out there working on your Christmas list for friends and family, Caraway is the perfect gift that keeps on giving because it will last for years to come. So there you have it. If you're not aware that Caraway always comes with your um, dividers to keep your cookware nice and safe so they're not banging into each other. You can display them on your countertops or store them away in your pot pans and drawers if you have them. Another thing as well that I love about Caraway is they got you covered on your pot lids as well. So it does come with your lid holder. You can use these and store them on the back of your cabinets as well. So they are the perfect gift for this holiday season. So if you're wanting to get yours, go ahead and check the link in the description. Right now, I'm telling you guys, this is the one to get. Okay, so dinner was all done and it was time to have my personal time and put my tree up. Now this tree this year I got from Home Depot and I had been in the store plenty of times because as you know, that's like our second home. Um, and I had seen this tree on display and I absolutely loved it. It was just what I've been wanting. So we saved up some funds. Well, actually Matt gave me his credit card, long story. Anyways, so he gave me his card and I was able to go and get our new tree. And I'm telling you guys, I absolutely love it. Um, I like to just sit upstairs and just look at it and it's just so pretty. So I'm moving my furniture around because I wanted to make sure that Evangeline had all the space in the world to make sure that she made a great impression. Um, I have that tree collar that you guys see there on the floor, but um, it actually was too small. The base of the tree is about 63 inches, um, or it's a 63 in yeah, I guess it would be 63 inches diameter circle. Anyways, but yeah, it's about 63 inches, and so that one doesn't fit, unfortunately. I got it from Target, and it only goes up to 54 inches, so I'm still on the lookout for a tree collar. Um, I have one from a previous year, which was white last year, but it's like a knit, uh, knit material, and I really wanted a metal black tree collar. I just think that it would really make the tree and set it off so I'm still on the hunt for one I know I saw one at Kirkland's so I'm pretty sure I'll go back and get that one and actually I should have went this weekend but um, for some reason I went to Hobby Lobby and forgot to go in there and get the tree collar but I will make sure that I get one and send and update some photos on Instagram so you guys can see exactly how Evangeline looks Okay, so if anyone is wondering why the tree was shaking so much, we had forgot to tighten the base of the tree. Um, so you'll see that that stops eventually, but um, yeah, that was the, the reason for the tree moving like that. So this is not how it normally is. So don't be afraid if you purchase the same one that it's gonna do the same thing as well. Um, we just needed to tighten the base and we ended up um, finding out why it was doing that and, and fixed it. So 
so you'll see me in different clothes because actually um, once I got the tree up and I fluffed it a bit I just enjoyed it and we had family over so I didn't want to rush the process so now I'm back in my groove and I'm wanting to go ahead and start decorating Evangeline um, I found this little hack on uh, Instagram where it's a cluster effect so I just use multiple different bulbs some of them were different sizes some of them were different colors and then I just went ahead and um, made sure that I filled in any gaps that were in the tree so that way it created some more depth and gave texture as well. This year I used oversized bulbs which I loved as well um, and I used pipe cleaners to actually wrap them around the tree branches and they were white so they blended in with the flock tree. Okay, so remember I told you that this is gonna be a process. So I think we're in the third day when I'm working on the tree again. And I just took my time and really wanted to make sure that I was meticulous on my spacing, um, what actual ornaments that I wanted to display on the tree, and just making sure that that vision really came to life. So um, I really enjoyed it, but it did take a lot of work.
Okay, so I finally called in reinforcements and Matt was able to help me out. He put on a, you know, a few of them um, that I wasn't able to reach, so that helped out a bit. Um, but it's starting to come together and Evangelina is looking so good. Let your love keep shining and for always be remembered, yeah, cause it's Christmas time. Now these poinsettias I found at Hobby Lobby and I really feel like they came together with the tree. They look so beautiful and they just added that burst of color. Alright guys, so I'm having so much fun getting my house ready for Christmas in our winter wonderland. But you guys let me know what you think of Evangeline. She's so beautiful. Yes, I gave my tree a name this year. I don't believe I gave the tree last year a name, but it will be going down in the basement and I will be starting that probably tonight. Um, but you won't see that, but you, we will be doing a full house tour of Christmas once Christmas is all over. But I absolutely love Evangeline. Um, one of my favorite or favorite ornaments on the tree are the big white balls, they're glitter. I hate glitter, but they're beautiful and they add a lot of contrast and shimmer to my tree. I absolutely love my poinsettias, which are the nice black and they're velvet and they have black um, threading around, white threading around them as well to enhance that black color. And then also I love the snowflakes. I got the snowflakes from at home and I love them. They're just so beautiful. They're enlarged, they add a lot of contrast to the tree. They just make it shine. So those are like my favorite ones. Of course, I love everything about the tree, but that's like my favorite thing. So with the tree this year, again, I wanted to do a winter wonderland. My color choices or colors were white, blacks, and neutrals. And I think I really accomplished that, especially with this ball here. It's like a neutral color with black striping and then also wood tones. So I have some wood tones here with a white background with the joy, peace, and Noel um, ornaments. And so I really feel like it came to life. It was in my head. But to see it all come together, I absolutely love it. I know someone had asked me that I need to do a video of how to decorate my tree. Um, if you guys want something like that, let me know in the description. And um, maybe Matt will put something together where we can kind of slow down me doing the tree and then I can kind of talk about it more. So, um, Or also I can try it again in the basement. So let me know in the comments what you guys think and I'll see what I can do. So I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and also next year, I'm going to be offering this as a service. So if you guys want a beautiful Christmas tree like this, then next year I'll be back and I'll be able to offer it to you guys as well. So let me know again. Thanks so much for watching this week. Please make sure that you like subscribe, share this one with a friend and we'll be back next week at eight. Bye guys.